everybody and welcome to my baking with Tumblr. Um, I haven't been doing these in a long while. I'm sorry about that. We're in the middle of moving and it's really difficult to, you know, film anything cooking wise whenever, you know, you're in the middle of moving. But today I am going to be teaching you how to make burgers and not just any burgers. Can you read that? Yeah. I found this at Sprout for $8.99, which I think, honestly, is a great price. I don't know how much these things usually run for. Um, so I thought, you know, when am I ever going to get a chance to try this again? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, cook it up and see how I like it. Now, um, I'm going to make burgers out of it. I know it's ground meat, so you could probably do a lot with it. But I'm just going to make regular old burgers out of it. And it's a pound, so that should make about maybe four burgers. Um, I've already got the pan. It's already getting ready to go. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to find a burger press. And you're just going to do exactly that. You're going to press the meat inside of the burger press until you basically have a nice patty. And you're going to keep doing it until you have four and set them aside on the plate very carefully. This part's a little bit harder because the burgers will fall apart. You're going to want to make sure that your pan has been set on a probably medium setting with oil just so that it has enough to, um, when you splash water on it, it will sizzle. Now you see the burgers, you will take them very carefully and just lay them in the pan trying your hardest not to get them to break. Take all your seasonings that you want for your burger and just add maybe a pinch. You don't have to drown them in it, but you just sprinkle it on a little bit like that. Now I always use soy sauce for my burgers because it makes the flavor come out a little bit more. I just use a little bit, maybe like a teaspoon or a tablespoon full. After you're done seasoning one side, you're going to want to flip the burgers, and I do mean carefully flip them because they will fall apart like you will see mine just did. And season the other side with the same seasonings. Then you're going to want to find a nice cover that you can cover both of them with and just cover them so that you can have them evenly cook on both sides. And you do it for three minutes and then you flip your burger. Yum, look at all that grease. So healthy. Now that you flipped your burger, you're going to want to do the same thing. Put the cover on and just wait for three more minutes and then flip them again. Notice how the most the oil has cooked away from the pan. That's a good sign of your burgers being done. But a good way to make sure is to pat the burger with your spatula and feel for a sort of hardness. Not so hard that it will break your tooth when you bite it, but more of a, hey, I'm obviously done cooking toughness. But if you're not sure, you can just slice a small portion off and see if the middle is brown instead of pink. And I highly recommend if you're not certain, because this is kangaroo and not beef, you will get sick if you eat the pink meat. So please check and make sure. Now that you've got the basic point, let's have some kangaroo jokes. What do you get whenever you cross the elephant with a kangaroo? Bloody great holes all over Australia. What do you call a lazy baby kangaroo? A pouch potato! Where do kangaroos like to eat? At IHOP! What kind of music do kangaroos listen to? Hip hop! Oh lucky you were saved. Now you just want to top your burger with everything you want on it. No pink in the middle means no diarrhea tonight. First off, I want to note, this has a very definite different smell than just regular beef. But it kind of smells like it also was fished out of a lake. I feel you shouldn't have to listen to me too, so here's my voice. That's not bad at all. Um, 
It needs a little bit more soy sauce or something. Like, a little bit more seasoning salt. I'm eating, like, at the zoo. Just a regular old zoo burger. It smells as it tastes. Or it tastes as it smells. If I reach about a thousand subscribers, I think I will order alligator, which is normal for people in Louisiana, but not so much in Texas. I'll order alligator and maybe another mystery meat and I will teach you how to cook it and I will eat it right here for baking with Tumblr. So go over to my YouTube channel, subscribe, like, thumbs up, whatever it's called, share this video out. And when I hit a thousand, I'll make another baking with Tumblr with exotic meats. Till then, bye!